morning my friends now i'm in the ispahan and i'm starting my new trip in this city and i have a big surprise for you in the beginning of the video uh, i would say that it's a main street and here you can see bazaar from this side from that side we will go there for sure and i will show you but now it's time for surprise let's go it's a really nice square. Do you know that more than 400 years ago, Shah Abbas decided to change the capital of Persia from Qazvin to Isfahan? Hmm. Wow! So we came closer to this place and I see that there are a lot of people. Let's go upstairs and try there. I got my ticket, the price is about two dollars and the name of this Aliga Book Place. So now I will show you exactly from up. Are you ready? Let's go! It also goes by the name of Median Imam and one of the UNESCO's World Heritage Sites in Iran. Guys, it was really nice and now uh, from the up I realized that we have to go to this mosque and see how it is because this looks amazing. And uh, I read about uh, this place, a bit information, so I will give you details. So guys, you will be surprised what I got from this place. So let's go. First of all, you will see the arc and left side and right side, they look so similar for you and you don't see any differences. But there is something so special. On the left side, I will show you, they cared about details more than right one. Now I will show you. So even if you compare now with this on the left side, look how they cared. And on the right side, not so much, it's just a colon. So also this part, look, here and this part, just look, do you see the differences? So people specially made it like this to show the power of God and show that they cannot do anything perfect. Now it's a macro of time and I'm going to show you the main mask in Isfahan. Let's go. Perhaps I think this is the most prominent building on the square, Shah Mask. Do you really see this mosaic tiles, how gorgeous they are? Everywhere is mosaic, everywhere is full of some decorations, flowers, it's so nice. And the main, of course. That's really looking crazy, I really love it. Unfortunately, because it's so late, I cannot show you everything, so tomorrow I will come back. I'm really curious to show you the bazaar here. As soon as I came to bazaar, I realized that there is a sound of tum 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 from everywhere. I like, was confused. What is going on in the bazaar? And uh, I realized that it's a bit of, and uh, they uh, are doing by handmade, uh, and like, it's crazy. Let's go and check. Wow. Salam. It seems that everything he did uh, by himself as a handmaid. That's crazy. Wow. I realized he put Beto under the cooper and to not make so much sound because it would be like too much and to not have holes uh, or also for decoration. Uh, that was so cool. Wow. Just look at this job. So nice. He's doing amazing. Now I found really cute earrings. I fell in love. Just look how cute they are. And uh, the quality is so nice. So cute. I really love it. I want to even have them. Traditional earrings for Iran. As you see, girl, they have uh, this kind of skirt, first of all, and then cover for up and uh, uh, scarf or shell. And uh, for boys, also pants and uh, the same tall uh, upster. So nice, and they're all colorful. And uh, for example, they don't have uh, one type of uh, clothes. For example, one color or just one type. They're all different, and they have different kind of colors, earrings, uh, decorations. So nice. Wow. Guys, it's really nice. Are you curious how they do it? I will show you, especially in my YouTube channel. So, 
first they put wood, bones and breasts inside like this and they make a special uh, design here like how it looks from other sides this is crazy that they showed me uh, bones from cow and uh, uh, wood it's so nice and then in the end it looks like this it's amazing so nice outside was really cold and uh, uh, they invited me to have tea in the carpet shop it's so cute and uh, uh, I'm having my traditional way of uh, drinking Iranian tea if you forget you have to know do like this this and now it will not because I am talking to you <laughs> Bakanin Bazaar, everyone is busy with something, with a handmade job, and from everywhere you can hear tung tung tung, tung tung tung, vroom, vroom. so nice, mashallah. <laughs> just arrived here and uh, now I'm just watching it we are in the garden that's really cute there is a bar place a place for chilling for having your time that's so nice with your friends for example and uh, now we are going to have breakfast my first breakfast so let's see there is a special room as a kitchen be careful mm -hmm. Oh, it's a place where you can have your breakfast, dinner or whatever. It's so nice. So, my breakfast is already here. Today we are in the Nashjagan Square again and as I promised today we will visit the places which I wanted to visit yesterday but they were closed so now we will go to the first to that mosque mm, yeah first to that mosque and then to here and then we will go to again to that place and I will show you the view again so we have a crazy day today and by the way today I uh, will spend my time with the guide so he will give me some information and uh, I will be much more uh, like I will give you more information, okay? So my dears, now we are in the mask and there is a special game, let's say COVID like this. You have to close your eyes and uh, we showed you a circle and to go like this from, like, I don't know, two and a half meters and go with the closed eyes and if you come uh, to the middle, it means yes. For example, you're wishing something, I wish uh, in this year, I don't know, I will travel to some country. Yes, if not, uh, to some other place, for example, here or here or whatever. I made a joke that I will go like this. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start. It will be my first time from here. It's exactly here. So let's start. <clears throat> Two. For, uh, for more protection. Okay. Um, I'm ready. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
later. <laughs> Not this year, later. <laughs> and now we are upstairs of the uh, this square. Do you remember yesterday I showed you? So come and see the view. That's so nice. Wow. Again, as I mentioned before, in every part there are some philosophy behind. For example, in this mask, instead of direct entrance, there are two corridors which in past didn't have any light, and in the end of each of them there were a window. It means that to find the right direction to the god, we need signs and help. So those windows were symbols of prophets and passengers. By the way, what makes this mask special is the design of a peacock at the center of the dome, which we can see when the sun entered the mask. Wow! Ding, 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 ding. It's time for our class and uh, my students, please sit down. Now I will tell you about uh, saffron. So, uh, sit down, sit down, yes. So, my dears. Uh, do you, you know that saffron is one of the, actually the most expensive, uh, you know, the world spices and I love it so much and as you see, I don't want to show because I'm a teacher but I had a bit, my tongue is orange, so I will show you how uh, it's growing up and what is this exactly because in the shops you always see it as a pudra, but for the first time I will show you how is it exactly growing up. So it's a flower and uh, what you we are eating the name is stigma you see it looks like this uh in the one flower there are just three and here you can see how it looks for example let's open this one you see there are a lot it means like thousands millions flowers that's crazy and uh, oops um here for example you can see how they are growing up and uh first whew, I hope that I didn't forget, because I'm a teacher, I cannot forget. So, uh, uh, seven years, flower can be, uh, seven years flower is growing up, let's say, but uh, during these three years, from the beginning, uh, we cannot get any uh, stigma, like, it doesn't work. So, after three years, it will start to uh, be useful as a, a spices. And here you can see how they gathered it in a flower, how it looks, so nice and so cute, I love it. And the cutest part in the end of our class, I will show you. Oh, oh. So, this is we put inside of the earth and it's growing up, this is so cute, it's so small. I wish you to grow up a big one, big flower, and be so beautiful. Ding ding! Now we came to a traditional Iranian restaurant, and uh, I'm in shock of the decorations. Wow! And guys, now I will share with you traditional way of printing on the fabrics. As you see, everything is handmade and they use different prints for different images. That's really cool. And after this, they can color it. And in the end, we will get decorations as a cover. By the way, now we arrived to Chehel Sutun and it's a really important place for Isfahan.
guys and now I want to show you Armenian church which totally doesn't look like a church even it looks like a mosque so let's go inside and check it And now I will bring you to the most famous place in Isfahan, Dolfa. At night you can see how it's totally changed and in my opinion it totally doesn't look like Iran. <laughs> My dears, now we are going to the sign of Isfahan and also I'm sure that you saw this. You saw the sign on the pictures or in the internet or in Instagram, whatever. Like this one is so popular. And also I have to uh, say as a brief that before it was full of water, uh, but now unfortunately it became totally dry and I'm so curious to see how it is. Uh, and just four years ago it was a bit water, but now it became totally dry. Oh, let's go. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. But in the same time, you see how dry it is? I will show you. Guys, I'm confused. That bridge is the name of the COC pole, what means there's a 33 arcs. But that one is the main one and the name is this one as i said as the main the name is Haju and i will show you they look so similar but here there is some decorations and i will show you yes this one is the main it's so nice this one is also dry Guys, I have a crazy news for you. Now I will bring you to the biggest mosque in all over the world after Abu Dhabi. That's crazy. Uh, I cannot even explain what I feel now. That's how it looks from up and now let's go. To be honest, even I feel a bit shameful because I even didn't know that in Isfahan there is like this much valuable place. Guys, I said the 
realized that there is a balcony here. I thought it is just a place for shop, but it's also a restaurant. It's like everything in one place. Cool. Let's go. Spend your time here and it's really nice idea. You can see bazaar, you can see uh, uh, this pool, you can see a lot of things. So nice. So I'm spending my time here. Oh. Guys, today is my last day in Isfahan and soon we are going to Hanser Kompe again. And yes, wow, I'm so excited. And for me, Isfahan was an amazing city with full of history, with full of adventure. Like everyone here is doing something, but busy with something as a handmaid. And they're so warm people, so nice, but like, so powerful. I loved this city in Iran. It was a wonderful trip. So my dears, don't forget, as always, uh, comment, like, turn on the ring. Uh, to get notifications about my next videos and my vlogs and um, what else? Uh, subscribe. If you don't subscribe, it's not okay. If you subscribe, it's okay. I love you so much and I see you in my next videos.